Hello everyone and welcome once again to MJ's Maths and Stats. That's MJ Magic Studio to you. I'm your host, your host, and always in the ghost mode, Mohit Jain. So we are on to the set. Three for technical ability round that is section two. Ten question need to be answered in thirty five minutes. Question is there on your screen? You know the drill. Pause the session. Try to solve it yourself and then look out for the answers. So find the odd one out among the below given numbers. Eight, four, nine. Okay, four numbers we have. Okay, this is twelve plus five seventeen. I'm just uh, finding the digital sum because breaking it by in, into odd and even classification is a very lame classification. Let's uh, try to do something with the digit sum: nine, ten, thirteen, nine, nine, eighteen, and two, twenty-two, and then it is six, nine, fifteen, and seven is twenty-two. Okay, so if I divide this number by nine by three, maybe uh, I get here remainder two, here remainder one, here remainder one, and here remainder one. On that note, eight four zero five can be classified as an odd one out among all these four, because the remaining three, when divided by three, leaves remainder one. And this, when divided by three, leaves remainder two. On that ground, eight, four, four, four. Okay, one more uh, digit sum classification. One plus seven is eight. One plus three is four. Two plus two is four, and this four. Digit sum of these three are four, and digital digit sum of the first one is eight, which is different from this. So we have got two. A different classification on which eight four zero five would be the odd one out. Okay, the next one. What are the values of a, b, and c if something is is given is true? But we can see that all the options are in ratios. So what we need to find is ratio between a is to b is to c. Now, if four a is equals to nine b, then a by b equals now nine b is equals to five c. Therefore, b by c will be equals to five by nine. Now we need a is to b is to c, so we can use the joint ratio format. A is to B is nine is to four, and B is to C is five is to nine. Then A is to B is to C is nine into five forty five, five into four twenty, and four into nine is thirty six. So A is to B is to C is forty five is to twenty is to thirty six. That is in option D. Now here we have used the concept of joint ratios. we can find these ratio directly also and the concept goes like that if a x is equals to b y is equals to c z suppose then x is to y is to z is nothing but inverse ratio of a is to b is to c that's it x is to y is to z is nothing but inverse ratio of coefficient of x y and z now we know how to find the inverse ratio here a is to b is to c is 4 is to 9 is to 5 then its inverse ratio is leave 4 multiply the rest 9 into 5 is 45 then leave 9 multiply the rest 4 into 5 is 20 and now leave 5 multiply the rest 4 into 9 is 36 
straight away also we can find the answer that is 45 is to 20 is to 36 either you use the concept of joint ratio which is again very lame here we can use the concept of inverse ratio directly inverse of 495 will give you the ratio of a is to b is to c that is 45 is to 20 is to 36. Please go through the master class of ratio proportion and variation the link is there in the description below that is rule 5. Please go through it to dwell deeper into these concepts. Okay, the next one, few symbols and direction sense, I guess. Consider the following information. In the given context, in what direction is Ron with respect to Jake? Jake percentage Todd. Percentage means Jake is to the south of Todd. This is Todd. Then to the south of Todd is Jake. Todd minus Una. Todd is to the west of Una. Todd is west. Now, this is north, south, west, east. Todd is at the west. That means Una is here. Todd is to the west of Una. Okay. Una plus Ron. Una is to the north of Ron. Una is to the north of Ron. Ron and this is Una. Okay. Ron and Lily. But we need in what in what direction is Ron with respect to Jane? Now Ron with respect to Jane, it can go to this is east, northeast, or east, or here also like southeast but here only four options are given so we will go for east option c is the pick here try out try out again from a direction sense i guess pause try On a Saturday evening, Mary decided to take her dog on a walk. She started from her home and walked towards the sun. It's evening. This is morning to noon, sun position. And in the evening, it should be towards something west direction. So, she started walking towards sun. That means towards west. This is the starting point. And took a right. Right means towards north now. She then took a left. Left again towards west. And took a right again. Took a right again. That means towards north. And walked straight for some time. In what direction is Mary facing currently? Mary is facing north direction. This is north, south, west and this direction is east. It should be north D. Assume that 35% of the employees of a certain company are men. That means 65% are women. Men 35% women 65 percent given that 50 percent of the men earn more than 30,000 per year more than 30,000 per year are 50 percent if 25 percent of the company's employee earn more than 30,000 per year this is for the total company 25 percent what a fraction of the women employed by the company earn 30,000 or less per year? Okay, suppose we uh, 
let us take that there are only 100 people in the company then uh, 25 are earning more than 30 and uh, less than or equals to 30k 75 people are earning this now we need to just fill up this table 35 50 percent is uh, half of 35 that is 17.5 25 minus 17 is 8 this would be 7.5 65 minus 7 is 58 yes so it would be 57.5 what we need to find is what fraction of the women employed that is 65 by the company earn 30,000 or less per year this is the fraction we are looking out for 57.5 divided by 65 and in the option we have got this 57 by 65 option a is the pick in one of the previous set uh, set 4 or set 5 also we have discussed this kind of question a vessel contains 50 liter of milk a milkman takes 6 liters of milk out of the vessel and replaces it with water. That means fraction of uh, mixture or the milk taken out is 6 by 50. That is 3 by 25. If the milkman repeats the same process twice, that means doing it two times, then how much milk is left? Milk is left in the vessel. So we use the same formula. Since every uh, thing in the vessel in the starting was milk and now they are asking how much is the milk left in the vessel then volume of milk left since it is replaced by water we can use volume of milk left is volume of milk in the beginning into 1 minus f to the power n n is like if the workman rep repeats repeats the same process twice that means in total is doing that process three times so it would be 50 into 1 minus f is 1 minus 3 by 25 that is 22 by 25 22 into 25 into 22 by 25 into 22 by 25 okay so this would be 44 into 22 into 22 by 25 25 into 4 100 and into 4 this will give me 1000 into 16 now how much is so this would be 340736 100 into 100 34.07 34 liters option b is the pick Remember, we have to multiply because there is no calculating devices to, with us. So, we just need to multiply and find it out. Word analogy. Which of the given choices can be used to complete the given analogy? Bartender cocktails. That means bartenders brew, drew, draw, make cocktails. Barista is likewise attached to coffee. Yes, it has to be coffee. Okay, off lately we have seen that in uh, this technical ability, these kind of questions repetitively they are asking. Puzzles, setup, sitting arrangement. Rob has placed his board games in the drawer in the following manner. Chess and checkers are placed next to each other. So we have chess and checkers next to each other or checkers or chess. Ludo and Sudoku are placed next to each other. Ludo and Sudoku would be next to each other. Chess is not placed next to, next to Scribble which is placed at the left end of the drawer. Okay. So, left end is Scrabble, fix. 
ना बिसाइड इट इज नो चेस चेकर इज प्लेस्ड इन द सेकेंड पोजिशन फ्रॉम द राइट फ्रॉम द राइट सेकेंड प्लेस इज चेक इन बाई चेकर्स इज चेक बाई चेकर्स लूडो इज टू द राइट ऑफ बोथ सुडोकू एंड स्क्रेबल सो स्क्रेबल देन वी विल हैव सुडोकू एंड लूडो बिकॉज लूडो एंड सुडोकू आर टूगेदर चेकर्स एंड लूडो आर प्लेस टूगेदर ओके लूडो अलॉन्ग विद दीज आर चेकर दीज आर प्लेस टूगेदर दैट मीन्स चेस शुड बी एट दिस पोजिशन दिस इज द पोजिशनिंग ऑफ फाइव बोर्ड गेम्स डन Which of the given choices regarding the placement of board games is true? Sudoku is placed between Sudoku is placed between Scrabble and Ludo. This is Scrabble checkers. Sudoku is placed between Scrabble and chess. Wrong, because it is between Scrabble and Ludo. Now chess is placed between. No, chess is at one of the corner. It cannot be between. That means obviously option D is correct. Let's see. Checkers is between Ludo and chess. We can see checkers is between Ludo and chess. Option D is the correct pick. Okay, the next one from ratios. Let's see. John and Mark present age are in ratio six is to three. So John present age is six x. If common ratio is taken as x, and Mark's present age is three x. Four year hence means after four years. The ratio of the ages become thirteen is to seven. What are John and Mark's present age? Present age ratio should be in two is to one. Forty eight twenty four is two is to one. Thirty eight twenty five is not. Eighteen twenty one is not two is to one. Fifty eight and thirty four is also not two is to one. Answer should be forty eight and twenty four. Let's just calculate and also check. Six into seven forty two x plus twenty eight equals thirteen into three is thirty nine x plus fifty two. Forty two minus thirty nine is three x, which is fifty two minus twenty eight. That is twenty four. That means x is equals to eight. Therefore, age of uh, present age of John is six into eight. That is forty eight, and Mark is three into eight. That is twenty four. Obviously, option A is the answer. This I hope is the one of the best question in this particular set. Suppose a plus b plus c is twenty-five, and a b c value belongs to whole number. Then what are the different set of values we can have for a b c such that a plus b plus c is twenty-five, and a b c belongs to whole number? That means these values can be zero also value of a can be zero either b can be zero or c can be zero a b can be zero then c can be 25 then number of ordered pair of solutions that we can have is given by n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 where this 25 is n r is number of variables that means in how many different solutions we can have that would be 25 plus 3 minus 1 c 3 minus 1 that is 27 c 2 and if in case it is given that a b c belongs to natural number in that case formula becomes n minus 1 c r minus 1 that's it if nobody can be equals to 0 or some value need to be given to this number then number of ordered pair solution would be n minus 1 c r minus 1 these two formula if we can remember 
to dwell deeper into this concept please go through the playlist uh, pink series permutation and combination where these concepts are discussed in detail otherwise we just need to remember the formulas a group of children went to went to a soft drink shop where they decided to buy 25 bottles of soda in the shop there are varieties of soda bottle such as cola limka do 3 maza 4 5 Six, seven, and eight different kinds of soda bottles are available. That means A one plus A two till A eight is equals to twenty five. In how many ways can the children select the bottles of soda? Now, here we would be using the first formula or the second one. Obviously, the first formula because it might happen that they haven't picked up fruity. it might happen that they haven't picked up orange or it might happen that they have picked up all 25 bottles of cola only that means a1 a2 till a8 values belongs to whole number so in this case answer would be 25 plus 8 minus 1 c 8 minus 1 combination selection 25 33 minus 1 32 c 7 ways please stick to formulas in these kind of questions option b is the fit for detailed explanation please go and watch playlist of permutation and combination but for the time being formula knowing is like what we should know on this note i'll see you soon with another set of technical ability set thank you everyone for participating